is. Uh, the next step, it's important to know the difference between the causes of the problem and the symptoms of the problem. And I think that this court does, does a pretty good job of uh, trying to address the causes, not just the symptoms. And the cause, I really believe the, the main sort of point that we need to focus on here is that vacancy rate number. I think this report lays out a target, 2017 to reach 3%. And uh, that's a pretty ambitious goal, but I think that that's uh, really, at the end of the day, that's really what this uh, really needs to be the key focus of this uh, strategy. Um, I have four points I'd like to bring forward, and I'll have to take some direction, I think, from the city clerk as far as um, which are possible to bring forward as amendments. Because right now we're just talking about we're receiving and filing the report, and we're approving the uh, recommendations from administration. So if you would, uh, Madam Clerk. My first uh, concern is about the definition of uh, affordable, affordable rental housing in the report. Uh, one of the, um, from the consultant's report, it mentions that uh, a definition for affordable rental housing is rental housing that's at or below average market rates, rates for rentals. And to me, um, we must clearly understand that the city's mechanism for getting money out to sort of move the market is that we're able to subsidize building. We're not really able to subsidize people in the same way that SAS housing might or Regina housing might. So the CMHC uh, definition of affordable housing is something we should recognize, but as far as the, the tool we need to kind of affect the market, it, I don't think it really works. It's not really the right tool for this. Um, but what I would like to suggest is that we don't call it affordable rental housing, this idea of at or below market average housing, or sorry, average market rent. We should just call that housing that's at or below average market rent. So I'd like to make an amendment to the glossary but I'm not sure again if that's. Um, I'm not sure that's actually a substantive motion to the floor. Um, we can discuss that, but it may be just a housekeeping issue to change that. Through you, Your Worship, and in response to Councillor Fraser, we did have the discussion on whether or not there was an opportunity to amend the consultant's report. And we don't actually have authority to do that. We commissioned the report and we've received it. Um, what there may be an opportunity to do is knowing that there is going to be a further report coming back from the administration is you may have the opportunity to request that a definition of affordable housing or whatever be contained as part of that report so that you would have the opportunity then to vote on that. Okay. And that's, sorry, that's possible to do, to do now or I'll do that when the future report comes forward. You could move that as a motion now to be included as part of the implementation plan that is coming back, which is part of recommendation number two. Okay. So you could move that recommendation include um, the definition of affordable housing with the wording that you would like to see included. Council would then have the opportunity to vote on that um, and its content um, with the implementation plan. Okay, I'm not actually changing the direction, I'm changing the title of it to be more clear. Well, That's yeah, right. the title, sure. The definition stays the same, but uh, we're just calling it. Probably something different, but the same definition. Yeah. So do you have a what's your motion you know, put in the floor for the discussion? Okay, so my motion would be, be it resolved, I guess that, um, just be it resolved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that the definition of affordable rental housing that's in the current uh, re uh, consultant's report, um, that we, remove the word affordable and just call it at or below average market rent. You need a second for that motion. It's a point of order. The city clerk just said that we can't change the consultant's report. Sure. We're not changing the consultant's report. This is actually a report that, that is the administration's report. If that were reworded to be uh, that when the implementation plan report come forward, sure. that it not include the title of okay. what? Your motion? Yeah, that's my motion. Thanks for everyone's patience. I'll second that. Any debate on the motion? Councilor Fraser, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay. Um, Number two is the terms of review, goal one, st strap one, part F. Uh, the consultant suggests that we review the incentives uh, at least every five years. Uh, it's my suggestion that, again, this is a very important issue that we want to be able to tweak as we go along so that we might change that, uh, again, not in that report, but we might give direction to the administration to change that, uh, that we actually have this come before council every year, if that were possible. 
the motion is? So the motion is to direct, direct the administration and the report that they'll bring back before us to um, to have the housing incentive program uh, appear before council on an annual basis. Everybody understand the, the amendment? Are there any questions or comments on council price? I just, um, I'm wondering what exactly you want coming back to council and what kind of budget is going to need to do that? It, um, it's specific to, um, to goal one around housing incentives. Um, I guess really at the heart of it is that right now we have incentives. Which the proposed uh, number is 15,000 per new door. And I just see that at some point in the future, the housing f issues that we're facing right now will be different. And it might be a tricky political process. Is, you know, what, if it's this council, great. If it's councils in the future, it might be a bit of a tricky political process to repeal some of those, um, those grants. So if we're looking at it regularly, then we can kind of adjust them uh, as we need them. For instance, um, you know, maybe we'll decrease the grant or decrease the grant or anything like that. So.